I'm Katiga Patrick, I work for the Danish Refugee Council in South Sudan, but in most emergencies in South Sudan, the biggest challenge in, in gaining access to protection activities are ongoing security concerns and inaccessible terrains. More frequently, flooding and extreme weather conditions combined with poor infrastructures and limited means of transport completely hinder access to some locations within the country. Simultaneously, areas with active conflict and frequent classes, particularly hard to reach areas, make it very hard for our protection team to assess some locations. As humanitarian, access is hindered, delayed, or denied, and protection needs increases over time, and vulnerabilities are often exacerbated. With DRC Mobile Response Program, DRC is able to try and mitigate asset challenges and deliver timely protection services to the most in need. My name is John Gadiel, Gadiel Sol. I'm uh, the founder and executive director for Mobile Humanitarian Agency. It's a national NGO. Uh, the successful uh, negotiation of the access to the Southern Unity is United State Invention. That was uh, 2018 during very active conflict where we need to access both location uh, which is being controlled by different administration, uh, the opposition and, and the government. And we had to negotiate that successful. What we used to do uh, when we have a demand signal from our people, uh, we do what we call uh, uh, contact analysis and the stakeholders mapping. Uh, that is to give us an idea of who we should be talking to to negotiate. The access and we also do what we call environmental scanning uh, to identify the threats and then uh, the vulnerability. The second thing that we usually use to do as well is to recruit within the area of the project site, knock on the recruitment. Uh, that gives us an advantage of a situation whereby it has happened that there is an active conflict again, that a critical staff can be uh, relocated, but the local recruited staff can remain that give us leverage of uh, be able to get the information from the ground and still going to continue with our activities as well. My name is David Hatter and I'm the Roving Protection Cluster Officer in South Sudan. As we all know, um, funds are ever decreasing, which is leading to a lot of competition between humanitarian actors to deliver results. Um, I think there are two key things that need to happen. Uh, the first, first thing is stakeholders, specifically donors, need to be more lenient and understanding when it comes to results. Uh, because we're seeing a lot of competition, we're seeing a lot of attitude that if a certain actor does not deliver results to the donors, then this means no future funding. So I think this is, this is quite a challenge actually coming from, from the top down. Um, another thing that I think is, is vital is that we need stakeholders, donors alike, senior management, to encourage collaboration, not just between agencies, but actually between clusters. And I think one, one way to go about this is to ensure MOUs, for example, between clusters. We've seen this already happening with, with certain clusters, uh, so that if someone is going to the field to do any, any negotiation for access, that they keep protection in mind. Mm -hmm.